What is going on, Doug at Eden Lawn Services? Guys, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, last week, I took some personal time off and enjoyed life for just a couple days. You know, we are allowed to do that. But we gotta get going again on our Walker Model 2 project, and uh, that's what we're doing. So let me show you what we got, where we're at, and let's get after it. Okay, here's the, and I think I, you know, maybe I didn't tell you. I looked it up, this is a 2009. 2009 and where are we well first off it is spotless clean i see that i pressure washed the heck out of it i super cleaned it twice and we got her clean man she is clean inside and out everywhere um i haven't done anything with the hydros they're still just the way they were last time um we're getting there we're getting there i did pull out the uh, gearbox for the pto output i pulled that completely out drained the gear oil put fresh gear oil in it it's about eight ounces by the way and uh, i just took it out to inspect it i could have drained the gear oil right in the chassis but i wanted to inspect it so i pulled it you know, it was four bolts and it's pretty easy anyway so that project's done uh you can see we're still missing a motor a blower a jack shaft and uh, so several components so anyways what today's video is is uh, let's go over here to the donor you can see uh, let me back up. I got it up on a <clears throat> jack stand simply because we are pulling this blower today and I need to get it out, inspect it, make sure everything's okie dokie, get it cleaned up, and get it installed in that one. So that's what you guys are going to see today a blower removal. Now, I've never done this, so um, I have watched several videos. Uh, Ken over at KLC uh, is probably the best one I've ever seen. Uh, he does a really good job of showing you how to do things and I watched it a month ago So let's try to remember and do it. All right, let me get the camera set up. Let's pull this in. Can you see me up there? Yeah, you can see. Let me see Yeah, you can see good enough <coughs> <coughs> You are literally hanging from my garage door opener. So that's why you got the top view But you know, it's hard with angles and the shop and you see I got the crap everywhere that this, this is what you got guys so let's pull this. Uh, first thing we need to do is take the belt off. So let's get that done. Um, and let's inspect it too, because this is a newer blower. This is not the original blower. And guess what? They replaced the belt at the same time. And look, it still has the right on the flip around. It still has the writing on it, has it wore off, and there's literally not a crack in this belt. So this belt is good. We can reuse this belt. So we'll throw it on the pop. All right. So now, if you remember, right, going back to uh, the very first video, uh, let me get this Toronto cable out of the way. Uh, I mentioned, I don't know if you guys can see that. This blower housing is loose. And you could tell when you ran it, there was a vibration in it. And I'm pretty sure it was this blower housing. It was, it was vibrating. So it is loose. Let me see if you can see that again. Now, it was a lot looser before I did a pressure wash and jammed all the crap down into the gaps, but it is loose. So we need to get it out, figure out what's going on, and uh, go from there. Now, we are gonna need the belt tensioner as well. Um, so we gotta take it off and the blower and the little housing up front, because I don't have any blower at all. Nothing came with that. So we're hoping all this is good. So let, let's, just, let's just do it, guys. Let's just Let's just get after it. What do we need here? I think we need about a, a 9 sixteenths. Let's see, that might be a 5 eighths. Nope, that's 9 sixteenths. What helps? There we go, if you turn it the right direction. I already took the spring pressure off this, so it's not going to go boing and whack me. How do you get that belt? That's how you do it. You just push on it. Pops right out. This is the belt tension. Where'd the spring go? Did it fall off? Yep, there it is. Crap, I didn't even pay attention to how it went on there. Uh, go like that. That don't look right. Uh, always something, is it? Always something. Oh, I see. It rubs, it just sets like that. And then this, 
pushes against the bottom of the frame, the spring does. But let's inspect it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if this wasn't replaced when they replaced the blower because there is not, there's not even a wobble in that bearing. That, that pulley, idler pulley, is in great shape. Great shape, all right, good. That's good news. Uh, let's put it back the way it's supposed to go. Like that, okay. Pieces, parts, we'll set it over here off to the side. That was pretty easy. Okay, we don't need to remove this pulley. We need to get this little front shroud off. That looks like a seven sixteenths, maybe. Like I said, I watched Ken's video about a month ago, but I don't remember. I remember there was two little 7 16 bolts here, and then there's some big ones down here. And, uh, yeah, whatever. We will figure it out, guys. We will figure it out. These are 7 16 by the way. And these are three little bolts that hold this front shroud on. See? There's one. Uh, this one over here is not bad to get to. The other one you can't see. Uh, can't see my feel. Nope. Uh, you can. Uh, you guys probably saw on the other one. I removed the whole dash and wiring harness out of the other one. Like I said, we have to do that because the motor that we're putting in there needs this wiring harness. And this dashboard's the newer style, where the old, the older dashboard was the older style. So we're going to put this dashboard in that more. And there's the second one. The third one, I don't even know. I think we need an extension for that. Let's see. i got to get in front of the camera on this one, guys. It is down. Yeah, I'm going diving. Get it from the front. Oh, yeah, much easier. I can even see it. Much easier to access that one from down below you can see what you're doing uh, so yeah I haven't removed this wiring harness yet this is on the list I, I wanted to get the old one out get cleaned up and uh, and get everything else kind of done and then I'll lay the wiring in so it's not that hard to figure out it's really easy so there's the shroud which is dirty but appears to be in really good shape you know other than this tank's bent a little bit. Must have got caught on something, but yeah, good shape. All right, nice. We're hoping everything on this blower's in good shape because I don't have another blower to steal parts off. This is the one we got. All right. Um, how do we do that? Okay, that's just a cradle bit of bolt there. Oh yeah, well, no wonder it's moving around. That bolt's loose. I'll show that to you when we get a little further. Well, let's go ahead and remove these. It means we already have the sockets there. Oh! <laughs> oh oh my, my gosh. Yeah, well, no wonder it's loose. There's not even a nut on this bolt. I'm pushing it up with my finger. I'm just trying to thread it out of there. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's uh, there's not a nut on this bolt either. They didn't, they didn't. I am so confused. They didn't, they didn't ever put the nuts on here when they installed the blower. Now let me get this, let me try to get this one out guys so you can see what I'm talking about.
There we go. It was just kind of stuck in there. I gotta get you. I gotta get you guys a bird's eye view on this. See where it were right there? Where's my camera? There's my camera. They, there was never a nut placed on this to tighten it up. Oh well. Now we know, right? Let's see if we can get this other one up out of here too. Just so we can see how it looks compared to the one we just pulled out. Yeah, she's kind of... It's just threaded in the housing is all it's doing. It's just sitting there bouncing around. right there same thing it's all worn out there's no they never put a nut on it they're sitting there vibrating and eat, the, eat those threads well no wonder that uh, blower was bouncing around hopefully it didn't ruin anything all right um i think i think all we have to do is undo these two big bolts it should drop down now guys i know the blower has to go out the bottom i've watched the videos what i don't know is how much space I need down there. So I did put it up on a jack stand, just a guess, and we'll see. That's that's what I did. I guessed. All right, how big how big is these things? Man, not big enough. Let's grab the. Let's just grab the big ratchet. People ask me, what am I rolling around on? Well, this is a office chair that the back's been removed. And I just use it in my shop so I have a place to sit so I'm not bending over like awkwardly all the time. So this is what I do. It works. I've always had a chair like this. So. One big bolt. Oh, yeah. See, I got me a magnetic tray. I haven't had one. I usually use the containers, but sometimes these are pretty handy, so I got it. That isn't the correct bolt. One, two, three, two. One. What did they do here? That head is way too small. Hmm. Maybe it is the correct bolt, it's just a different size. I don't know. I'm a little confused here, guys. I'm not confused, I'm just trying to figure crap out. I might have to go from underneath. Okay, let's go down and see what we get. Ken's watching this video is like, I told you that was a 5 8 you idiot. Had you watched my video a little closer, you wouldn't be in this situation. No, it's not. It's a 9 16 Ken, you just wanted me to get up again. It was just covered with so much grease. That looked like a five inch. Uh, so much dirt and debris down here. There we go. the right size bolt or not because it was a smaller bolt than what was in the back one that's for sure and the hole doesn't look smaller to me I think you put the wrong size bolt in there I do I do okay well oops
Now getting this out. Oh, we gotta remove a spring. Right there. This is the tensioner spring for this shaft. Well, I think if we do this, we slip that belt. And then we relieve the spring pressure. Yeah, see that? Came right off. Oh, yeah, see, she's starting to fall. Okay, that spring goes to there. Okay, we're gonna stick this in the pile. Now, you can hear it go clunk. There she is, she's down. She's on the ground. And I'm telling you right now, we're not high enough. Unless we can rotate it somehow. Let's see, let's play a little bit. so messed up. I'll show you when we get it out. Let's get this fire off. <sighs> Man, I'm good. It's 13, 16, 6. Where's my... Oh, there's it. Should I paint... Should I paint these black so they look like impacts? so they look like impacts because you know I don't want the impact police to come out here and, and get me. I don't want to be in trouble. So. Okay, let's see if we can get it out now. Oh, <laughs> we got her. We got her. Holy moly. Oh man. Alright, let me uh let me get this out here and then I'll show you everything that's wrong with it. But Generally speaking, looks like it's all okay, if that makes sense. All right, give me just a second. Okay, here we go, guys, here we go. This is the hardware that held it in. These long bolts that I pulled out, they were in those holes right there. Oop, I guess it helped if I showed you. They were in those holes, didn't even have nuts on them. Neither one of them, okay? Neither one of them had a nut on it, so that's why that was loose. This hole, you can see, from wobbling around in there, or ate the hole out a little bit. Okay, then these bolts, this one was in here, and it was, it's the correct size, but this one, oh, I'm trying to get it in my hand, is a smaller bolt, and it was over here on this side, which leads me to believe they got the wrong stinking bolt in there but let me let me check something here no see that won't fit through that hole but the hole in the chassis it does fit so i don't know on that one i don't know maybe it's just a little uh different size hole for variance in the chassis for the for the width or something like that. And then, this is the bottom, looking up if you will. This is the bolt that holds this carrier subframe on, and guess what? It's loose too. But, I mean, uh, other than the this hole being a little worn, uh, the blower actually looks to be in really good shape. Look, see that? It's starting to it's starting to thin out here, but it's not bad. Um, when these get real thin, that's that's when it's time to change it. But this one doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't look bad. This this blower is not very old. See that one? That one's not even. It's starting to thin, but it's not bad. Oop, that one too. See, not bad at all. That blower still got plenty of life left in it. And if you look, it runs true. So it's not, 
it's not bent or anything. So let's get the fresh wash out, clean this out. No, we'll put it in other more. All right, time to get this one up on the jack stand so we get the blower in. Uh, guys, I do have an electric hoist that would lift up the whole mower, but it's back over there behind two run non-running mowers. <laughs> so I'm having to do things a little different on this and my floor jack broke. So I don't have a floor jack, I gotta get one. But I got a long time Stick your hands here like that. Oh, hey, where you going, dude? Don't be all moving on me now. Oh, you son of a gun. Why make things hard on me? Where you going, bro? Stop it from moving, I think. Maybe. The, the problem is, is the other tire's flat. Let's try this again. Maybe if I lift more in the middle, it won't turn so much. Oh, you piece of crap. Maybe we'll do it over here. It's gotta be hard, don't you? You need to start behaving. You and I are gonna have a good relationship. We have to have a good relationship. Leaf season's coming, and I need you. All right. One washed blower with water in it. pile from taking everything off so every size I need should be all right I think we need to remove the tire well let's, let's start with that I guess uh -oh, my battery died there that we got her there's a spacer behind these tires too huh? Keys. My battery dying? No, it's just wanting to work slow today, I guess. Okay. Uh, the blower housing actually looks like this thing isn't. There's not even a groove. There's barely a groove in it. Um, yes, it's used, but it's not not much used. Although I will say, if you guys look, can you see that? Let me look in the camera and make sure. Yeah, you can't. Good. If you look on this output, guys, this is the output, the fan that goes up through the, the, the body that goes into the box. Um, these are all square. This one, if you look, is bent up. Who's that, Laura? Yeah, I need you. Okay. Uh, oh, you need me, need me? I just need you to pay attention. Oh, my gosh. All right, let me stop the video, guys. Hang on. Okay, all right. It was on a... Uh, Lord had to discuss a new commercial contract that we're working on, but uh, and some pricing. Um, anyways, guys, this is straight. This is straight. This is straight. This has got a bow in it, and by with that bow, the, the housing's been hitting. This piece over here has been hitting on here, and it's been wearing it down. So we need to just correct that bow a little bit. So, oh, I went too far. There we go. Fixed. That wasn't that hard. All right, now we gotta get this bad boy back in. Hey, be careful, it's all wet and slippery. Laura, mm -hmm. where, where, where are you going? Talk to your dad. Huh. Thought we were working today. I've been working. Oh, okay, she's been working. Actually, she has, because she's been working on the contract. Okay, uh, so the housing is actually in really good shape. 
I pressure washed it. I did not put any super clean on it. It could use it, but I'm not going to do it because simply you have to apply that simple clean, that simple clean when it is 100% dry or it just doesn't work and it's still a little wet. And I'm not going to wait for it. We're, we're going to get the sucker in there. So let's do it. Let's do this. I don't think I'm going to tighten up that yet. Let's just get it in here. Okay. Close. goes this away. Now, remember those two seven sixteen inch bolts? Haha! <laughs> got two bolts too with no nuts. <laughs> I gotta come up with some nuts. I might have to run down and get some new bolts, honestly. This one's pretty hammered. This one's in pretty good shape. It needs clean. Let me pull that up. So. No, they're not in good shape, guys. I need to run down and get some new bolts. Well, I guess we will continue here shortly because I have to go get new bolts. These are not good. Not good enough. How's that? Not good enough. And this bracket, which was right here, I don't know what it goes to because the other one didn't have it. So I'm wondering if it was part of the wiring harness fuel injection system i don't remember oh well, we'll figure it out uh, let me go get some new bolts all right we got new bolts now guys uh, you can notice they're gold these are grade eight how do you know because they got five slash marks on it this is a grade three oh, excuse me grade five because it has three hash marks on it i don't i'm sure a grade eight wasn't original a grade five probably was but the store that i go to which is a hardware store three blocks away. Uh, their grade five bolts looked like they were made out of recycled aluminum beer cans and I just didn't like them. So I went with grade eight. Not a good idea in some situations. Grade eights tend to break rather than stretch where grades five will stretch rather than break. They'll stretch before they break. So be careful when you switch grades. I'm telling you that right now. It could not be good for you. But hey, we did today. All right, let's put this in here. Uh, I do want to put this wiring harness at least on on one of these just so I can do it and then this little bracket I don't know I'm gonna leave it off for now uh, I don't know what it's for but whatever I can always put it back on later right, All right let's see how we're gonna do this I don't know which bolt to start with uh, let's just get it here and see. start with just this one right here oh and I got nylocks uh, too just to simplify no lock washers trying to get them on the bottom I just got nylocks ow that was my finger all right hold it up with my foot I'm gonna put that nylock right there let's get this nut on just kind of hold it in place Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, she's in. Ow, I smashed my finger. Son of a gun. That wasn't very nice, was it? Oh, what did I just do? Yep, I'm just gonna go that way. And like I said, all we're doing, we're just kind of holding it up there, right? Right? The, the kind of band. Foot wedge again. There we go. Okay, she's on. Uh, situations like this, guys, you always want to get your bolts in first before, before you tighten anything down. You may not get them in. Was this one up or down? Mm. 
think this one was up. Yes. Yeah. But then, who said it was put together correctly the first time? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, there were so many bolts missing. Holy crud. Okay, and this one was definitely down. If I can find them. Let's tighten uh, because we got this bolt over here that's loose, so there is going to be some give <coughs> give on that a little bit. But let's tighten up. Let's go from the bottom up. That's what we're going to do. Bottom up. And then I don't know about the belt tension right there. We got I might be screwing up here. I don't think I need to put it in first, but. that one pretty good that's a big bolt a big nut big shaft now uh, what do i need i needed a nine sixteenths on this other one which is underneath there where it's all wet so i'm going to go from the side where it's not so wet and this was a lock nut on this one too, guys. This had a star washer underneath of it, which is a lock washer. It was just intact, so. Okay, calibrated elbow. She's torqued to drop proper spec, which is 87.8 foot-pounds torque. Okay, so that's in. Oh, I didn't show you the blower. Man, that thing runs free, look at this. Hardly any wobble, the housing's good, we're good to go. Okay, so we got that up, they got the bottom bracket in. Let's tighten up these two because this is gonna set our height. What do you say, baby? We're assembling our new new mower. I got nothing. You got nothing. 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 Wow. I am going to need a wrench. I bet you that's let me just grab the nut off this real quick. So I can go get a wrench. I bet you that's true. I don't know. Three eighths maybe? Okay, we were close. It's a seven sixteenths. So let's tighten this up. Now these are just little tiny quarter inch bolts, guys. You are not gonna torque these down that far. Matter of fact, I'm switching hands so I can use my calibrated right hand. There you go, right there. got the bottom bolt which was loose that we never even touched in the first video um, at all because it came off with the bottom bracket so let's grab that I think it's a nice no I don't think so I think it's a half inch extension is that your new magnetic plate this this is Laura see she's commenting on my new magnetic plate because it sticks see and everything sticks to it very nice. You know, it was worth the three ninety nine or whatever I paid for it. I would agree with you. Uh, Harbor Freight. She was looking at the business receipt. She said, "What? That was like twenty dollars." I said, "No, that's a different line item." <laughs> she looked at the wrong item. I'm like, it was only four bucks or three bucks. I have to get two of them. Uh, yeah, I might. <laughs> I just might. I need to get de-elevated here. Actually, probably easier if I go 
this route. That's a nylock as well. I need it. I need a 9 16 wrench. Or, excuse me, half inch wrench. There we go. The crescent didn't, didn't fit down there very well. There we go. Issue resolved. Stay down there. fit over here too that's welded in the way. Oh yeah, she's tight. There we go. Okay, Laura's in. Uh, Laura, what well, you didn't, uh, you missed the first half of the video, but this blower housing is relatively new. So it's in really, really, really good shape. Bearings are great. There's no play or anything in it. Um, the only problem was is uh, when it was installed in the other mower, it literally didn't have nuts on two of the main mounting bolts and the other ones were all loose. So it was vibrating and you could feel it when you started it. Not anymore, we fixed it. We might have fixed it. We tried to fix it. Okay. We'll find out. We believe that? we fixed it. We believe. With my mad skills, we got this sucker fixed. Okay. Uh, I need to pressure wash that. Come out. Okay, guys. Pressure wash, and then Laura realized the pressure washer was hooked up, and she wanted to wash her front door. So that's what you hear over there is her pressure washing. Okay, this tab is bent down. I can see it already, so we're going to... We're going to fix it like that, kind of at the same angle as the other one. There. And I would say that's really, really close. And it goes like this when it mounts. And this tab is always pointing down. So well, there you go. Uh, we wash it. It's still wet, but it's... It doesn't have crap hanging all over it, guys. It's so much easier to work on stuff when it's clean. That's why I take the time to clean everything when I'm working on it, uh, unless it's an emergency situation where you're just trying to get it back to mowing. But this is not an emergency situation. This is fixing stuff. Okay, there's bosses right here, threaded bosses. You can't go wrong. You can't put this on incorrectly. There's there's no way. Uh, I wanted to say, before I go any further, uh, let me get this out of here. There we go. This front bolt on the bottom bracket. You always want the nut on the bottom. And I remember that from Ken's video, Ken at KLC, because if you put the nut up, the nut is thicker than the head of the bolt, and it, the nut will hit on this. So you're gonna have to, if you put it in upside down, which is not up, um, bolt down, you'll end up removing it because this won't go on and flip it around. So bolt down, nut, yeah, the bolt's on the top, the nut's on the bottom. That's the proper way. So this fits, this, this piece here. Get in there, hold the tongue down. There we go. Okay. Thank you again for those little tips and tricks. It makes life so much easier rather than having it. I would have had to uninstall this and it would have been a pain in the butt and it's just little stuff like that. And these videos that you can pick up on just helps immensely. What the heck? There we go. Again, get the bolt started, leave them loose. Do not tighten them. Until you get all the bolts at least started. That's pretty much on everything you do. Okay, the top two are on. The bottom one, I gotta go diving, guys. I'm gonna go diving. Yep. 
Oh, it's all wet over there. It's all wet from pressure washing. Shoot. Oh, well, I guess I'm getting wet. Oh, this sucks. No, I'm not. I don't feel like getting wet. Let's do it this way. Oh, uh, no, I don't. There it is. Yeah, there it is right there. I can see it. You know, if we get lucky and find something, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, I just got the tightener. Did it perfect. Perfect. And these are just little quarter inch bolts too, guys. Not a lot of torque on these bad boys. You strip threads and heartbeat. There we go. Done. Done. Oh, that was my finger. Done, done, done. Good. We are so good. Okay. Next, we gotta get this this thing in here. Somehow, some way. Now I know. I'm just gonna take a look see here, guys. I gotta I gotta look at this. To get it right in my mind. Um because I saw Ken do this, and he used zip ties, but I'm wondering if you need to do it with a zip tie. Let's get this in there. I don't doubt what he's saying, but I'm wondering, you know, of course, we should have tried this before we put the blower in. There we go. I'm wondering if you need to. There we go, just like that. Is that on correctly? Yeah, it looks good to me. Let's tighten it up and see. Again, this has a star washer on it, which is a lock nut. Okay. Uh, that's the wrong one. Nine sixteen. Turn back there. I need a 9 wrench. Man, I got tools strung out everywhere in the shop working on two different mowers. That's not a 9 16th. What the heck? Oh, yeah, it is a 9 16th. That was a 5 8 socket. I screwed that up. There we go. Okay, she's on. Yep. We got spring action. And that looks correctly installed. Yep, and there's the wear mark from where it was before. At least it was installed that way before. I'm not saying that's correct, but it was installed that way before. I think Laura's just dead set on ruining this video with the pressure washer running. I'm just doing a rough check here, guys. To make sure we're... We are close, and we are very, very close. But we're good. Okay. And lastly, we're going to install the belt. There you go. Make 
actually it turns that way. There you go. I don't like that. That needs some grease. I think it's good, but it does need some grease right here on this dirt on this table. You sure it's trying to move, ruin our video? Sorry. With all the pressure washing? Sorry. Is the front of your house clean? Better. Okay. Then it's worth it. Thank you. All right, guys, I guess that's the video. We got the blower in and uh, everything looks okay. I wonder, you know what we should probably do? Let's make sure this housing shuts up here. Oop, oop, oop. What's moving here? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Perfect. Yep, we're good. I'm going to put this in back up. There we go. I just wanted to make sure that this housing fit inside the flange there. We're good to go. Uh, we'll leave this video at that. Next, we're going to do the jack shaft. I need to get it swapped over. And um, yeah, we'll see how many <coughs> loose bolts and nuts and crap that we find on it. But I will say, when I ran that other mower, because remember that other mower was a running assembly, uh, there was quite a bit of vibration in it. Now, when I removed the motor, the motor was bolted down tight. So. It must have been this. It must have been this housing that was moving around when you ran it. But anyhow, uh, lower assemblies in. We're good to go. Uh, the deck should be done here in the next few days. My son had to cut and weld and do some brackets on it, and that should be done. And we got a new chute coming, and there's some other new parts. But let's get the jack shaft in, and then we will do the wiring because. We just have to do put fans on the hydros, jack shaft, wiring, motor, and put the hopper back on it. And this thing's done. So there you go, guys. This project's complete. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We are a mowing company who tends to mow a lot. And that's why you haven't seen mowing videos, just simply because we're so busy. I haven't had time to set a camera out and I failed. But you got business is first, YouTube second. Sorry, guys. but. I had time in the shop to set up camera, so you got to see the blower assembly today. Hopefully this helps somebody out in the future. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.